Okay, so I'm going to show you how to draw a tree. And uh, first of all, I think you need to practice some marks. And I'm using a small piece of uh, compressed charcoal and I've broken it into the right size I want for my, the thickness of my tree. Um, and you can get compressed charcoal from anywhere. You can get it from the range or somewhere like that, uh, any craft shop. I just want you to practice making some marks first of all because um, you're going to need to make a mark on the side of the crayon that's thick and then gradually you tilt it up and if you can flick your hand off like that to get some very quick marks and see how I've got thicker and then thinner. So I'm going to draw this tree and the first thing I'm going to work out is where the bottom of my tree is going to be and I can see lots of leaves there so I'm going to just mark them in as the bottom of the tree I'm going to start here it's about this thick and then I need it goes right up in the air it's really huge and I'm not going to get it all in up I could try to aim to finish it about here and so I need to measure I need to measure the distances here from the top to the bottom and you can do this just doing that really If I mark into quarters, then I know that this is the top part of my tree branches. And then that is where this comes off. It's an intersection and that little stumpy branch there. And my tree leans over, so I've probably done that too thick. So this is where I'm going to start drawing where the tree grows at an angle and then I've got to measure where I'm going out it bulges out like this then it leans right over then it comes up and I'm getting thinner and thinner and thinner and it leans over like this yeah and uh, I'm using textured paper here. You don't have to use textured paper. I thought it might look nice. And now I want to thicken this line up. So I'm going to do that by doubling the line up like this. And I need this to be the thickness of the tree there. That's about right. And I'm just drawing with the point of this compressed charcoal now. And gradually I'm getting thinner and thinner until this top branch just goes right across. So we've been measuring. Um, I don't quite like that. That goes a little bit too thin too quickly. So again, I'm making decisions and judgments all the time. Now, you might get a bit of creative block. Like, oh man, that hasn't gone right. Don't worry, you know, I can see mistakes and problems with mine already. I'm not trying to make an exact replica of the tree. So don't beat yourself up, just go with it. Keep making marks. Drawings sometimes go uh, wrong at the start and then they they, they get better and sometimes they, they're good at the start and they get worse. Like, can you see how I'm switching from drawing with like um, the thin edge of my charcoal and the thick edge, just where the bra branches are getting thinner, like that. And then um, this top bit, it goes like that and it's thicker than that and tree trunks are always thicker 
tree branches I should say are always thicker where, where they meet the trunk and they gradually get thinner as they go out um, that's a lovely shaped branch this one And this is my garden which is full of leaves at the moment. It's going to be a lot of work cleaning them all up. Um, okay, so I think, oh, there's one branch there. That's quite thick for being so high up. Well, I've still gone off the page. That's one of the problems with drawing such big trees. Oh, and here's Jasper the cat. Hello, son. Um, okay, and just this little branch, I'm now looking, I'm evaluating, I'm making decisions about what I've missed out, what I need to put in. Um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Um, I'm going to, to try to thicken this trunk up where I can see it now and so I'm going to use the thin edge of my crayon and I'm going to just press hard and try to thicken up some of these shadows Yeah, because if I make the line darker now it will make the tree look more solid and I want to just make you aware as well not to put your darkest mark on the first save your darkest mark till the end because you can always go darker but you can't take it off once you've put it on and I just and again one thing as well is it's what you're missing out what you're not putting in the tree is important because you can't put everything and if you do, you'll, your mind will go boggly and you'll have a stressy. So, um, I also want to avoid these outside lines. I don't like them. They're for cartoons and we're not doing a cartoon. I just want to shade them in a little bit. Um, and we've got some really nice dark shadows. Oh, there's the train going past. That's the uh, the Northern Line train. I'm going to put lots of thinner branches on now. And this is where... Um, you need to uh, have uh, a repertoire, a bank of mark making skills. I'll show you what I mean by that. So, um, the way I'm going to draw a lot of the detail, like the leaves and things like that, it's going to be in incredibly difficult to just try and draw every single leaf like this. It's going to be slow, painstaking, and um, you need to do it quicker and the way you do that is by uh, having a bank of mark making techniques and you can make little marks like this and see how I'm twisting my hand as I'm doing them um, because you don't want to go one direction like that you want to be spinning your hand and twisting with your with your charcoal like this Try not to flick it as I've done because we want these short stumpy lines and then where we've got um, thin branches we want to use the thin end of the crayon and just try to get them all growing out like this so I'm using different marks to do this and there's a lot of detail so I'm just going to crack on and just spin my hand and start putting some leaves in. Mm. 
now I've got a lot of thin branches I need to start putting in. And there's a lot of detail behind the tree as well. Um, and I'm gonna miss a lot of that out. Um, it's called artistic license. That means I've got permission to do whatever I want because it's my drawing. And if you don't want to do some detail, just don't. The beautiful thing about art is there's no right and wrong way of doing it. This is just my way of doing it. Now I'm going to just put some few leaves. Just trying to capture a bit of movement as though there's some blowing off there. And I'll build up the other thing as well is if you build up um, a strong shadow at the bottom of your drawing, it will make, it will give you more weight at the bottom here so that it looks stronger and it looks like your tree is steady. So I've just cheated there and I've just shaded all that in dark. And maybe just put some other little weedy trees here. And I love trees. I love nature. I love drawing nature. Um, I used to, my mum used to like drawing and she taught me. And when I became an art teacher and she was ill, I used to take her out into the fields and the woods and we used to draw and sketch together. I'm quite happy thinking of that. I thought of that for a long time. Okay. Um, yeah, now it's time to look at it and, and what you do is you stand back and you, you think and make decisions about it going to just use my finger now to just smudge just put some softer tones in them spaces between the leaves and thicken that leaf section up a little bit some teachers don't like you to use your finger because it's full of grease and oil I don't mind And that's it. That's my tree. That is my little tree. Just with a piece of charcoal, compressed charcoal, remember, is what I'm using on textured paper. But you can use anything on coloured paper. You might use paints, inks. You can use anything you like. Be adventurous, experiment. Find out what works for you. Find out what you like. Being an artist means making creative decisions, making choices about the way you want to do things. And teachers shouldn't tell you what to do or how to do it. Um, they should help you to be able to make your own choices. hope you've enjoyed my tree drawing and I hope that even if you don't become a full-time professional artist like me I hope that you get pleasure from art and I hope that even when you become old like I am that you still enjoy going out and just making sketches and making drawings 
because do you know what it doesn't matter how good this is it doesn't matter all that matters is that you've enjoyed it Now it's time to wash my hands.